ever bounce a check for maybe 10 bucks? Not really. Who the hell's writing a $10 check? And get hit with a fee for more like 30? Yeah, maybe once when I was 18 and irresponsible and didn't have any money, but you learn quick and then you don't do it again. And if it happens once or twice, you could just ask the bank tellers nicely if you've been a decent customer otherwise, and most of the time, they'll just refund it. I was a bank teller for Connecticut's largest bank, and we did this all the time. Well, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB, says no more. They are slashing overdraft fees down to as little as $3. That's not no more. That's just less, you Timu librarian mothball demon. Here's what you need to know about that. Overdraft fees are the charges that banks impose when you go over the amount in your account by even a couple of bucks. Yeah, we've already been talking about that. That's the whole premise of the video. Shouldn't you have started with that also? Who the hell is a bank account and doesn't know what that is? Why do people overdraft? Sometimes it's a mistake. Sometimes it's because they're struggling to make ends meet. Yeah, and sometimes it's intentional and they intend on never paying the money back. When I worked at the bank, we constantly saw thousands upon thousands of accounts that went delinquent for 10, 20, 15, 100 dollars that the bank account just zeroed out after a couple of years. It wasn't worth it for the bank to try to chase somebody down for a few bucks. Which means the bank that was already losing money on a customer that had basically nothing in their account just got defrauded and took the L. And who paid for that? No one! Most people pay that money back within a week. Right, and those are the types of customers who we would refund those fees to. If you make a mistake here or there, or you can't afford it, or your paycheck gets delivered on Friday, or you pay it back in a couple days, a lot of the times we would just let that go. It's a discretionary decision by the bank manager. So if you were a decent customer, and you were nice and friendly, you would pretty much never pay these. Not to mention the fact that there's a lot of other safeguards that can be put in place to prevent this from happening, like it will automatically draw from your savings account or somewhere else. Meaning that you could completely avoid these fees if you were just responsible. But the biggest banks have been using overdrafts to boost their profits about three and a half billion dollars last year. Oh my god, you insufferable demon. This is less than one percent of the annual revenue of most large banks. Less than one percent! Not to mention the fact that you're not taking into account how many of those accounts go delinquent. So what's the delinquency versus the income from the overdraft fees? I said this a thousand times on videos before. A customer that is frequently overdrafting their account is basically a net loss to the bank. A bank makes money primarily from loans, mostly from mortgages. Consumer checking accounts where you're running a $10 check is a net L to the bank. They're just trying to build a relationship with you. So if you were to take away the overdraft fee, which is one of the very few things that they're actually able to make money from, it's not like they can take your $10 and invest it that much. If you take that away, then these people that were able to write a $10 check and bounce it and have the bank pay it for them, so their power didn't get shit off, for example, the bank would just refuse to bank with them. They would say, sorry, you can't have less than $1,000 in this bank, and they would have no account at all. They are literally doing a service. They could just as easily bounce the check, but they choose to pay it for you as a service. As President Biden said, banks call it a service, I call it exploitation. That it is a service, you fucking idiot! They could just as easily bounce the goddamn check, and then you would have no... Then they'd turn your fucking power off! Oh my god! That's why President Biden and the CFPB announced a rule to slash those fees. And that's going to be a big deal for the millions of people every year that bounce a check. Like I always say, capitalism without rules is theft. You know what's even more theft? Taxation to pay the salary of lying, financially illiterate serpents like yourself! Do you have reaped soggy avocado toast? I'm here in my woolen sweater in my million dollar house in front of my library to lie to you about how money works. <laughs> Fuck!